So one of the things that is limiting your ability to, um, to extend your hip, or the, the primary thing that's limiting the ability, is, your, um, is the ligaments around the hip. So the ligaments of the hip are constructed in a way where they all pull tight when we go into hip extension. Um, and they all loosen up when we go into hip flexion. So, um, so the reason why um, the bones are kind of squeezed together so tightly in hip extension has to do with the structure of the, the ligaments that hold those bones together. Where's my thing? Here we go. Okay, so let me see if I can, I'm gonna see if I can put these ligaments on this skeleton. Hopefully the tape will stick. So um, you have one ligament that runs from here, kind of just above the front of the pelvis, just above the hip socket, and then attaches onto the front of the thigh bone like that. I'm not sure that the tape is gonna stay there, but let's see, hopefully. Um, and then there's another, um, there's another piece of this ligament that runs on a little bit, a little more obliquely, on a little more of an angle, something like this, like that. It's actually not quite that long. So something like that. So this ligament is called the iliofemoral ligament, and. Um, most of these, um, a lot of the ligaments in your body are named for the bones that they attach to. So that it's often kind of figure, easy to figure out where they run from. So this is iliofemoral, means it runs from the ilium, which is the upper part of the pelvis here, just above the hip joint, to the femur, so the iliofemoral ligament. Um, this is also sometimes called the Y ligament. The Y ligament, the letter Y. Because um, it's shaped like a Y. Uh, to me, I, honestly, it looks like it's shaped like a V, but, but anyway, or an upside down V, but supposedly it's the Y ligament, so like an upside down Y. Um, and you can see that the, this ligament is positioned so that if we took the thigh bone backward, I feel like I'm gonna probably pop this ligament off the bones here, but let me see if I can hold it in place. When I pull the thigh bone backward, do you see how that's gonna tighten up that ligament? So it's gonna prevent extension. And then the, the more lateral part here is going to help to also prevent not just extension but also hip adduction because it would prevent the greater trochanter from kind of tilting out like that if I try to pull the thigh bone inwardly. So that's the iliofemoral or the Y ligament. Um, it is the most, um, uh, it's the strongest ligament in the body. The reason why it's so strong is that it helps us to maintain upright posture. So it prevents hip extension, or another way of thinking about this is you can kind of imagine that it prevents the upper body from falling backwards off the femurs. So we're not gonna sort of like fall off backwards like that. Um, what it means is that we're, when we're upright, we're standing upright, and the hips are fully extended, we don't have to use as, muscu as much muscular effort to keep ourselves upright. Because the ligaments will kind of lock tight and hold us in that position. Okay, so then there's another one. This one is called the pubofemoral ligament. And it runs from, you can guess, from the pubis to the femur like that. So you can see this ligament is running more or less horizontally. It's still going to wind up pulling tight when we move back into hip extension. Um, but it also will help to prevent external rotation of the hip and, um, and hip um, abduction, which is pulling the thigh bone out to the side. Pubofemoral. Um, I can write them down. So three ligaments. So hip ligaments, so there's iliofemoral, that's 
the Y ligament. There's pubofemoral. And then the last one is called the ischiofemoral. So you remember we have the, the different parts of the pelvic bones, right? The upper part is the ilium, the front part is the pubis, the part that's in the back and in the bottom is the ischium. Um, and when we were children, those were, those were separate bones, and then by the time we get to be adults, they all fuse together to form a, a single bone, one on the right side, and one, one on the right side, and one on the left side. Okay, so then the other ligament, the ischiofemoral ligament, this one I always feel like, this is for me, when I see this, I just think, wow, Mother Nature is so clever with this stuff. So clever. Um, so the ischiofemoral here runs from the ischium, which is the bone here in the back, and then it runs and it, like this. It sort of runs up over the, the top of the femur like this and attaches around into the front. So you could see that when we move back into hip extension, this ligament also tightens up because of the way that it sort of winds up, it sort of winds around the femur and then it gets, it gets pulled tighter as we pull the thigh bone backward. Um, and then it's, um, it's also going to help to prevent internal rotation of the femur. So, and then you can see that when we, when we flex the hip, you can see that now the ischiofemoral ligament gets slack and actually so do all of these other ligaments. They all get slack. They're probably going to pull off the bone because the tape's not sticking very well, but they all get loose. And then when we go back into hip extension, then they all tighten up together. And because they all tighten up, they wind the head of the femur really tightly into the hip socket. They lock it in place. So, um, so those ligaments um, all work to prevent hip extension, uh, or to limit hip extension, we should say, um, which is why you don't have nearly as much hip extension as you have hip flexion. <laughs>